Hey everybody, welcome back to Video Game Episode Terror and a continuing series on the Steam Deck. More importantly, how to get some of your favorite video game platforms set up via emulation on it with MU Deck. And today we're going to be taking a look at Game Boy Advance because when I ask you guys what platforms you want to see next, I've been getting a lot of comments for the Game Boy Advance. And I would assume that's probably because the form factor is very similar. Before we get too far involved, though, do me a huge favor, go down below, hit like, and subscribe. That notification bell definitely helps us out. And if you feel so inclined and want to support the channel, we got a Patreon link down below as well. Because I absolutely love the Game Boy Advance, and Emulation 4 is amazing. And when you pair that with the Steam Deck and the overall configuration of how you hold on to it, this is just a bigger, better version of the Game Boy Advance. But it does take some setting up, and there are a few asterisks in the system that we're going to talk about right now. And unlike the CD cores that I've been talking about, platforms that use CD-ROM as their basis of operation, with cartridge systems, more often than not, you're not going to require a BIOS. But if you want to know what systems do and don't require BIOS files and what formats you need your games in, go ahead and head over to the link down below. I put it in the description. It's Emudex GitHub page and it's going to tell you all the cores it supports, whether or not a BIOS file is required, and what ROM formats it accepts. Don't forget you need to own the games you're emulating and you need to have the system to get your BIOS file from. Now, with the Game Boy Advance, you can put a BIOS file in, and it may improve compatibility a bit. I never do. I've never had an issue with it whatsoever, so it's up to you. I'm going to tell you not to do it, but just remember you can. Take those ROMs and copy them over to any mass storage device you want to plug in to your Steam Deck dock. You can do this via FTP, and if you want to see a video on that, leave me a comment down below, but I know everyone can drag and drop to a USB thumb drive, so that's what I'm going with here. Just remember, you're going to want a dock for this procedure, and pretty much for the Steam Deck in general. They are dirt cheap. I will link to what I buy below. It's not an affiliate link. I don't make any money, but this way you can play it on your television, and you know how to transfer files via the tutorial, because I am just using a USB thumb drive to move these over. It works perfectly fine for me, and it will work well for you as well. But you need to go over to desktop mode and when you put that mass storage device in you're going to see mount and open show up on the screen and that's going to bring you to all the files we just addressed and since we're dealing with game boy advance we will just go into the folder here you see i unzip my roms it's just my preference you can leave them zipped per the github document whatever you want to do but we need to make sure we get these roms in the right place so you can just copy and paste you highlight everything and then we're going to bring it over to the appropriate folder into wherever you installed EmuDeck, whether that's on the Steam Deck's internal storage or a micro USB card. Now, if you do want to install the BIOS, and that's totally your option, you're just going to put it in the BIOS folder as to wherever you installed EmuDeck. Just drop it in BIOS. It doesn't need to be nested in a folder like all of the other BIOS files we've talked about in previous episodes. But to get the ROMs in, you're going to go over to Emulation and you're going to go to your ROMs folder and you're going to scroll down until you get G alphabetically because we are dealing with Game Boy, so that just makes sense now, doesn't it? Just be aware that there's a GBA, a GBC, and a GB folder. That's original Game Boy, that's Game Boy Color, we're on Game Boy Advance. I do see some people make this mistake, they see GC, they drop the ROMs in, and it ends up not being in the right place, so just make sure you're paying attention. It's one extra character that makes the world of difference. Now when we have those files copied over, we're going to relaunch EmuDeck here, because we want to make sure we use Steam ROM Manager to get these into our library. Now if you do add the BIOS file in, just remember that BIOS Checker does not look for everything. It's not going to tell you if it is installed and the checksum matches. So just if you add it in there, test it within EmuDeck and RetroArch to see if it works because it's not a system that's going to be pinged by that BIOS Checker. Go ahead and launch Steam ROM Manager. Just remember it does change the controls if you're using the Steam Deck itself. And then from there, so long as the parser is turned on, by default they are all on, you'll just go ahead up to the top and hit preview. And then from there at the bottom, there's going to be a generate app list. This is going to look for all of the files we just added. And if you have a lot of stuff on your Steam Deck like I do, if you go up to filter by category, you can pick every single platform that is on your Steam Deck. And if we select Game Boy Advance, it's just going to show us the games that we have added for this installation instance. And if you want to do stuff like change art, 
and you can toggle back and forth. I think all this art that came up is very nice, but if you scroll over any individual game, you'll see this little arrow here, and if you keep clicking on it, it'll allow you to cycle through different artwork. Sometimes they duplicate, but you can kind of just play around with this and do whatever you want. When you're happy, go ahead and hit save app list. This is in real time. It takes like maybe four to five seconds. And then once that is done, we can just close Steam ROM Manager and we can return to gaming mode. That's going to bring us to the desktop where we have all of our different collections. And now you'll see the games we added for Game Boy Advance are right here ready for us to play in this nice curated look. And I will say I own an original Game Boy Advance as well as an SP and they've all got screen mods in them, but it doesn't look any better than you can do on Steam Deck. And of course you can dock this on your couch as well as play on the train if you want. Although I live in Chicago and trust me, I'm not taking a Steam Deck out on the train because I probably would not be leaving the train with it. All jokes aside though, just because we're playing a game doesn't mean we're done with the tutorial because this emulator has so many different options to articulate. Some are going to be really important, some are going to come up maybe once or twice, but I want to make sure you get the best experience experience out of MGBA. So let's jump right into some of them. You'll see here if we go down into the menu and we take core options, we're going to have all sorts of different things we can change around like system here. It'll be auto detect. And if you have a BIOS file, it'll automatically find it. You can have it restart in different models, but trust me, leave auto detect on, you're going to have a much better time. And if you do want that BIOS file in there, it will be read upon launch. I would just leave this on as well. Like I said, BIOS file, totally your prerogative. Now video is where we have a lot of different fun options that I want to talk about here. And the most important one being color correction. You can see it adjusts the color output to match different screen space colors. If we turn that on for Game Boy Advance, now suddenly this game has a completely different vibe going on. It's darker, it's moodier. This is subjective. There isn't a right or a wrong answer. If it looks good to you, that means it is good. If it looks bad to you, just change it around. But do be aware that that is an option within the core, and it's one that I really like playing around with because it just gives you a little bit of a different look. Just be aware right now that I am not using integer scaling, but I will show you how to turn that on in just a moment. So if you see any uneven pixels or any sort of shimmering, that is why, and I'll explain what integer scaling is in the first place because you can do it in one of two different methods on the Steam Deck with Emu Deck and RetroWatch. Let's move over to Mega Man Zero Two, another absolutely spectacular game, and let's start it in non-integer scaled. Basically, the output resolution of the Steam Deck screen does not match the Game Boy Advance's screen, obviously. What integer scaling means is that it's scaling across both axes correctly. If you go into video and you go down to scaling, you're going to see integer scale right here, and it's going to be information provided by the core. Once we back out, you're going to see that we now have borders around the screen, but this is going to be scaling to the exact same ratios that a Game Boy Advance screen would. Now, some people don't mind the shimmering, some people hate it. I'm kind of in between, but if you don't like what you're getting on your Steam Deck screen, either in handheld mode or docked, go ahead and turn integer scaling on. I think you're gonna be happy from there. But this just looks incredible. I love Wario Land 4 here. Just remember, if you beat your eggplant too much, it might get angry at you. Do with that comment what you will. I love to sneak a joke in here and there. But it's so fun to be able to see these on a bright, vibrant Steam Deck screen. And the output from a dock onto a television is also just incredible to look at. It is so much fun, and there's so many incredible games on the Game Boy Advance you can't go wrong with anything. And don't forget, there's so many different types of experience as well. Something like Mother 3, never officially translated, does have a fan translation patch, and playing it on a Steam Deck is just a better version of playing it on a Game Boy Advance as far as screen real estate is concerned. Some of the text can be a little bit small on the Game Boy Advance, but on the Steam Deck, you're getting a bigger view portal, and if you dock the system, it's going to be even better than that. And of course, with things like save states and everything, you get even more than an original Game Boy advance is going to have and it's not really surprising to me so many people wanted to see a tutorial on the Game Boy Advance. It is such a great platform. It does have so much fun on it. It's something that I'm really impressed by and trust me if you've never played this translation it is probably the best fan translation I have ever seen. It keeps all of the humor of the Earthbound and Mother franchise 100% intact. If you've never played it you have to do it. But I will say the sound quality out of the Steam Deck is amazing as well so go ahead and listen to the Gunstar Heroes music and I will be right back.
I mean, for what sort of sound the Game Boy Advance outputs, it sounds extremely good on MGBA on the Steam Deck. And you will see here, I went back to integer scaling mode. The faster things move on the screen, the more scaling, the more rotation that is in a game, the more I want to have integer scaling on. This is something I turn on and off depending on the game I'm playing. So just remember it's always there because anytime you're playing something on a screen that doesn't have the same resolution scale as the original hardware, you can get some video artifacts doing that. But honestly, it's so much fun to have Game Boy Advance on the Steam Deck because it's just a bigger, better Game Boy Advance with all the controls you need with a brighter screen and a bigger screen. And don't get me wrong, I love my Game Boy Advance hardware and I still do play it, but having something like this on Steam Deck is just so much fun to see. It works perfectly, I can't find a single emulation issue whatsoever. This is incredible and you should 100% definitely be playing because I think you're going to have a fun time. But if you have any questions or comments, I'll leave them down below something didn't make sense or you need a hand i am always here but if you take a look at the steam deck and i always use the no man's sky outro because i love that starfield bump this is just an original game boy advance blown up to a much larger proportion we got the d-pad we got the buttons we got the shoulder buttons steam deck has everything you need to have an amazing on the go game boy advance experience or if you want to throw a dock on it on your couch short of that i'll see you guys next time hope you enjoyed it Bye bye